When I'm on the go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded with sugar and only contain 10% or less of real fruit. Meal substitute drinks are much too gritty and can become expensive. That's why I venture into the wilderness with the moose. That's right, all natural chocolate moose juice is made with real skim milk, is naturally fat free and full of protein that my big bulging muscles require. Since it is a healthy, tasty alternative for me, I can be sure that chocolate moose juice will be a huge hit with my children too. Furthermore, chocolate moose juice is economical at under a dollar per bottle. So remember, the next time you and the little ones crave a non-bloating, tasty alternative, turn to the moose. Man, that's good stuff. All natural chocolate moose juice. Chocolate moose juice can be found conveniently located at mini marts everywhere. Chocolate Moose Juice, 60 second commercial, scene one, take two. When I'm on the go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded with sugar and only contain 10% or less of real fruit. Meal substitute drinks are much too gritty and can become expensive. That's why I venture into the wilderness with the moose. That's right. All natural chocolate moose juice is made with real skim milk, is naturally fat free and full of protein that my big bulging muscles require. Since it is a healthy, tasty alternative for me, I can be sure that chocolate moose juice will be a huge hit with my children too. Furthermore, it is economical at under a dollar per bottle. So remember, the next time you and the little ones crave a non-bloating, tasty alternative, turn to the moose. Man, that's good stuff. All natural chocolate moose juice. Chocolate moose juice can be found conveniently located at mini marts everywhere.
When I want to go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded with sugar and only contain 10% or less of real fruit. Meal substitute drinks are much too gritty and can become expensive. That's why I venture into the wilderness with the mousse. That's right, all natural chocolate mousse juice is made with real skim milk, is naturally fat free and full of protein that my big bulging muscles require. Since it is a healthy, tasty alternative for me, I can be sure that chocolate mousse juice will be a huge hit with my children too. Furthermore, chocolate mousse juice is economical at under a dollar per bottle. So remember, the next time you and the little ones crave a non-bloating, tasty alternative, turn to the mousse. Man, that's good stuff. All natural chocolate mousse juice. Chocolate mousse juice can be found conveniently located at mini marts everywhere. When I'm on the go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded with sugar and only contain 10% or less of real fruit. Meal substitute drinks are much too gritty and can become expensive. That's why I... Just keep going. I, I, I just... I, When I'm on the go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded. <laughs> when I'm on the go and I don't have time to stop and eat, I want a drink that is full of refreshment and good for me too. Soda is much too filling. And juice drinks are heavily loaded with sugar and only contain 10% or less of real fruit. Meal substitute drinks are much too gritty and can become expensive. That's why I venture into the wilderness with the mousse. That's right. All natural chocolate juice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one more time to the Paco Valdez show where we all laugh, we all cry, fight, scream, and we do all kinds of things here. Today I have an interesting topic where we are going to talk about a trio. What a trio mean? I don't know, I'm confused here. But first of all, let me introduce my first guest here, Mr. Don. How are you doing, Don, today? Great, great. It's a pleasure to be here. Very good. Been looking forward to this. That's great. That sounds good to me. Um, that's a nice and interesting shirt you have there, eh? Oh, well, thanks. I got it. I sent away for it. That's good. Yes, yeah, six, uh, six proofs of purchase. Tell us about you a little bit to my audience. Okay, well, uh, my name is Don. I'm a, I'm a construction worker, work construction. How many hours do you work a day? Uh, about 12. 12 hours? Yeah. According to my notes here, uh, you work six days a week. That's correct. And you spend one day with your family. Right, well, the only day left will be Sunday. Right. And, day and right. you also have five kids. Yes. You're a very busy man, eh? Well, you know, it's uh, it's hard being me. No TV at home? Big family? A lot of kids? No, we, in fact, we have a TV at home. TV at home? Yeah, big 19-inch. Okay, what time do you get home after work? Uh, well, it's, it's roughly 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Something like that. Your wife has dinner ready to go. Oh, she table. better have it ready. She better have it ready. That's right. What's your wife's name? Leah. Leah. What, do, what does Leah do at home when she's at home? Does she work? Well, she school? does what any woman should do when a woman's at home. She, she's clean, she does laundry, vacuums, she does the dishes. I mean, that's... <laughs> What do you do? Do you help her out with, uh, with the cleaning, laundry, and a few more chores? No, I'm the breadwinner in the family. I, I bring home the bacon. That's her job. Oh, I see. That's How about Sundays? Do you help her out to do something in the house? Do you cook at all? Cook? Yes. Man doesn't cook. Well, you are, very, you are an Woman interesting man over here. Like I said before, we're going to have fun today. 
tell us about Leah. Why Leah doesn't want to work? Does she, would you like, would you no, like her been, to work? She's been very demanding of me lately. You know, she, she's been talking about how she wants to get a job and, and a career and all this. But I, who's, who's going to take care of the house? Who's going to take care of the, 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 the kids? Who's going to make sure that everyone's fed and clothed and, and cleaned? And, uh, who's going to do that? I can't afford to hire a, a maid come in there and, and clean everything up. How many sisters and brothers are there in your family? In my family, I have four brothers and uh, three sisters. Three sisters. And your father is the one that, who used, he was the only one working in the family? Yeah. Really? And yeah. your mom used to do all whatever Leah is doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, precisely. How old is your oldest child? Uh, he's five. Five years old. Uh -huh. And the youngest one? A uh, couple months. I, I, I'm not sure. Are you planning to have more kids? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if, as long as the good Lord's willing. Wow, that's an interesting man for me. That's what I call an interesting man. Got well, a wife you. at home, cleaning, and the dinner is ready to go every time you get there. Oh, it's six pack, You bring a six-pack home and ready to go. That's right. Do you sit down with the kids and have, you know, eat dinner with all of them at the same time and your wife? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we, when I get home, she has my dinner ready. And I go into the living room and I sit there and I turn on the tube and I, uh, I'd like to watch a ball game, you know, whatever's on. Baseball, football, whatever. And, uh, you know, I, I, they come in and I uh, tell them to, you know, have a seat, sit, sit around me and everything, just as long as they don't talk, because I, I got to hear the game. I got to be concentrating on the game. The game is, is what's important when I'm eating my dinner. I see. Tell us about the relationship. The relationship? Right. The relationship that you're having with Leah right now. Is it good? Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. But like I said, man, she's getting too demanding. She wants to do things independently of the family. You can't do that. That's not, that's not what a marriage is all about. A marriage is all about the woman sitting at home waiting for the man. If Leah was here, you're here for a reason, right? Right. When we come back, we're going to talk to... Leah, and we're going to talk more about this issue. Please stay tuned, and Paco Valdez will be right back. Floor. What are we going to open? Three? Welcome back to Paco Valdez Show, the show that makes you laugh, scream, and jump. Today, I have Don here with me. Don, we already know a little bit about you, and we also know a little bit about the relationship that you are having right now. If uh, Leah was here, would you like to tell her something? I, I, I do have something to tell her. That's why I brought her to the show here today. I mean, uh... uh hi, honey. Oh, How are hi. you? How, how are you doing? These oh. are for you. Oh, for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, these are... Lovely, beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah, that's They're from our garden. You don't our, remember? Our garden. Right, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. How are you doing today, Leah? Hi, nice Welcome to see you. Welcome to Paco Valdez Show. Mm -hmm. We've been talking with Don here about his uh, job, about the family and everything. And according to my notes here, you come from a very good family. You were you grew up in New York, upstate, uh -huh. and you have uh, three brothers and one sister, that's correct? Right, right. My sister. How's, how things going in your family right now? Pretty good, I mean, in our immediate family. Right, right. Fun. I think things are good. Um, I would like to start working. Um, I don't like staying home all the time. Um, I don't think he should be the only one bringing home the money. I think a woman should work. That's good. What do you think about this? Else? Who's going to well, clean the house you know, we can take turns. Work. I can clean it, you can clean it. I mean... Take turns? What are you thinking, woman? Oh, you know, good a God. lady doesn't always have to clean the house. Can you believe this? She wants me to clean, take turns cleaning? This is the 90s, almost, you know, another, um, the 2000. Hey, I mean, number what, time, what time does Don usually get home? 7.30, 8 o'clock, depending. And you have dinner ready to go with the kids, the table. Damn and right, everything. yeah, I have the TV dinner waiting for him. The house is clean and uh, laundry's done and everything? Yeah, most likely, I mean, sometimes it's not clean. I mean, sometimes it is. I mean, what can I say? I've got five kids to take care of. How about the weekends? What do you do? With him, you I have uh, Sunday off, right? He has right. What, what do you do? And he enjoys watching, um, <coughs> you know, baseball or football, depending on what season. And he thinks that the kids should watch this and watch him drink beer all the time. And I don't think so. I think we should spend quality time. And you know, we need to go other places and go to the that zoo. That is quality I mean. time. When was the last time? When was the last time that you two took a trip out? 
I have to see it. Probably on our honeymoon. Honeymoon. How long ago? Five years ago. Tell me about the relationship. How is the relationship right now? What do you see right now? Everything's going smooth or? Things are good except, you know, I would like to get out of the house. I don't think that he should That's be the only one working. I really don't think so. That's not happening, Paco. <laughs> well, you know what? It better. Because you won't stay a wife. <laughs> this is a very good and interesting story. Don, why do you think that she's not allowed to work? Or why do you think she, will, she doesn't need to work? Do you think an income will be better, you know, an extra income to the house? You will share it's the responsibility necessary. that you have at it's home. You can necessary. do the laundry one day, and she can do where the laundry I come next from, time. Where I come from, a woman stays home. She takes care of her man from home. A woman can't <laughs> take care of her man <laughs> while she's well, working. Where you come from is Tennessee. Okay. Where, let us know, go back to break. Cousins, so let us go I mean, back to... On. But I didn't marry you because you're not my cousin. <laughs> Well, because you're a part, sort of normal, maybe? Okay, let us go back to break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk more here, Paco Valdez Show. Stay tuned, don't move, we'll be right back. We are back here in Paco Valdez Show, and I got Don here and I got Leah here. Leah, what were you talking about? What were you saying to Don? About him being semi-normal because he didn't marry his cousin from where he comes from. Leah, you know that Don is here because he has something to tell you? Okay. Hey, listen, we've been together for five years now. And uh, we've had some good times. But uh, I have a confession to make. About five, six months ago, construction company cut back on my hours. What do you mean they cut back on your hours? I'm only working about five, six hours a day now. <laughs> so what the hell are you doing the other five, six hours a day? I'm confused here. You said I mean, five, you six hours? You just, you told me before that you were working 12 hours. What do you I, do with the rest of the time? I were working 12 hours. Okay. I'm not anymore. And what do you do with the rest of your time? Well, well where do you go? that's why I'm here, to tell her that, uh, Leah, you know what? I've, I've been seeing somebody else. You've been seeing somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd take back the damn wedding ring. I don't want it. Oh, good. I need some money. Good. So I don't care. I don't understand you. What do you mean, what do you? What, what don't you understand? Listen, you've been too demanding on me lately. I'm nagging like crazy. I need to get some job. Because I need to go Because if you were in a house for 12, 13 hours a day, you'd be demanding too. You want to sit in a house and clean all day and take care of the kids? You don't, you don't do that. You don't even see your kids half the time. Wait a minute, you don't enjoy I enjoy them? spending quality time with them, but 12, 13 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, I don't think so. But that's your job. You're <laughs> well, my you wife. That's your job. That's why I want a job outside the house. The kids are going to school What's wrong soon, with the job I'm... that you have? <laughs> Whatever, you know what? I brought you here too you because can't... I'm seeing somebody else. What? <laughs> You're seeing somebody else. I'm going to bring her out. Her. Let's bring her out, please. Right, her. What, what's her? The girl I've been seeing is Martine. Martine, how are you doing Excuse today? Excuse me, two-timing bitch. What can I say? How are you doing today? Paco. Welcome to our show. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, give me a second. I'm kind of confused here. I don't, I don't really know what's going on You're here. You're confused. Uh, yeah. Is that my English or something's going on here? The three of you, you've seen her, you married with Leah, Leah's seen her. What's going on here? Please Paco, help me out. What can I say? I'm just irresistible, evidently. Oh. She can't get enough of me. He can't get enough so of me. So-called best friend I have. <laughs> well, you know what? Get over it, honey. How long have you been seeing my number team? About five, six months. Five, six months? Mm -hmm. Were you aware of this, Leah? Obviously not. Oh, I see. See, Paco, she can't take care of his needs like I can. <laughs> All right, so. Now that's she a needs real woman. If you want to live in a trailer for the rest of your life and raise another five or six kids, go hey, ahead. Wait a minute, what's wrong with you? You have in my trailer? blessing. You're the one that wanted to live in a trailer right after we first got married. No, it was you who wanted to live in a trailer. You said, honey, it's cheaper if we get a trailer. It's only I was just going by whatever you said. <laughs> whatever. But you agreed with it. Because you want to. You want Listen, to live in there and... Don, today. you know, it's time to leave this trash, okay? Yeah, you're probably trash? right. Trash? Yeah. You're what right. do you call yourself? <laughs> Excuse me, honey. Evidently, I'm the one who has your man, okay? That's right. That's right. And there's a reason 
that, that Martine is here as well. Ay caramba, what am I going to do with these three people over here? Listen. I, I'm, I'm lost. Is this uh, uh, the system or what do you got there? I, I Let me see. Something. Here, uh, Flowers, who Martina, are they listen, for? Flowers, I was wondering, I I was wondering, you're going to give to her. I was wondering if are. maybe tomorrow you and I could go down to the courthouse and do a two-for-one deal where I divorce this bitch <laughs> and, and we can get married. Oh, yes. Oh, and you're giving her the wedding ring. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, take it, take it. Live from Studio 1B from lovely Miami, Florida, it's the Paco Valdez Show. And here it is. gentlemen, welcome one more time to the show that makes you laugh, you scream, and sometimes we have to call 911. But that doesn't matter. This is Paco Valdez, live from Miami for you. Today, we have a very interesting story. Bizarre Love Triangle. I don't know what that is, but we're going to figure out in a second. My guest today is Mr. Don. How are you doing, Don, today? Great, Great. doing good. good Very good. good. That is a I nice... was looking forward to coming here for a long time. That's a nice t-shirt that you have. Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks. What does it Bud say? Light, the beer. Did you bring me one? Uh, well, it took me eight, eight packages, eight cases of beer to get this. Oh, I see. So, how are you doing today? Very good, right? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm... I'm How's work? It's, uh, work? Oh, works, works good. Okay, works tell good. me about your job. Tell me a little bit about you. Okay, well, I'm a construction worker. I, uh, you know, I, I work uh, long hours, uh, you know, and uh, I'm just uh, just an average kind of guy. Average kind of guy. Yeah. That's How many right. hours you work a day? Oh, about 12. 12 hours a day. Do you work weekends? Uh, Saturdays I do. Saturdays. Sundays I, I have off. Sundays you spend it with the family? Yeah. What's your wife's name? Leah. Leah. Right. Leah. The reason why you're here is because you have something to tell to Leah. Right. Right? Right. Okay. Well, it's a love triangle story. What is it? I don't know. We're going to figure out in a second when we come back after these commercials. We are back here with the Paco Valdez show. Yes? Ask me, si sí, senor. Talk about this today, we have a love triangle story. Don, you have something to tell Leah. Yes, I do. Okay, if Leah was here, what would you tell her? Well, I would tell her that, uh, you know. Let's bring Leah out, please. Hi, hi. Oh, hey. Hi. These are for you. you uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, Did, that, that was all I can afford these from Kmart, so, you Be know. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, I, I saw these, I think they're on special. I don't know. Blue that's, light that's, special. Right, right, yeah. that's, that, th these are very nice. How are you doing today, Leah? Nice to meet Welcome you. Welcome to Paco Valdez Show. We have a very good, interesting story today. Leah, how many kids do you have together? Five. Five kids. How long have you been married? We've been um, together no, for I'm five so, years. I'm, I'm sorry, five years we've been married. Five years and it's five kids. How old is the oldest kid? Uh, the oldest kid is about five years old. Five years old. Uh, Leah, mm -hmm. how's the relationship with this man at home? Well, I'd say it's well, pretty good. Excuse me, he was talking to me. I don't think your name's Leah. Whoa! 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 Controlling over me. Um, I don't know. According to my notes here and according to what he said, he says he works 12 hours a day. What time does he get at home? He usually comes home about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. 7.30. At home, she got dinner ready to go. Oh, is she better? Table. Yeah, I have those TV dinners ready for yeah. him. Yeah. Tell me about Sunday. Does he help you out with the cleaning and the laundry and <laughs> what? everything? What? What? What are you talking about? Cleaning? Me out 
That's, that's her job. That's an understatement. I mean, come on. That, that's her job. The cleaning, the cooking. On Sunday, his day off, all he does is sit and watch football or baseball, depending on what season it is. You know, I mean, he sits there and drinks his beer. I mean, he wants the kids to enjoy time with him. I mean, you don't spend quality time with your kids watching football or baseball drinking beer. Listen, as long as they're, we're in the same room and we've got the big 19-inch TV going and there's a ball game on, that's all that matters. That's, that's all not that's quality important. time. Take care of I can't believe this. Taking God. them to the zoo, I mean, that's quality time. Do you yes, love Leah? Love? Yes. Love is a word that's often misunderstood. Oh, excuse me? No, 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 I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that in a bad way. You know, I mean, I, I, I go to work every day, and I come home, and you know, we have a good arrangement, Leah and I do. You know, I work, I pay the bills, she stays home, cleans, and takes care of the kids. That's his arrangement. That's not my arrangement. What more could you want out of life? Well, I would like to work. I would like to put the work? kids. Yes. Well, who's going to clean the house? Well, that's when you come home, you can help clean. I can clean. Help clean? Yes, Are help you clean? clean. Oh, my God. That's oh, a that's so cool. Cool. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but this is not the 50s here. This is the 90s. It doesn't matter what year it is or anything. I, I don't know any. <laughs> on, I just have a quick out. question for you, Don. Would you like uh, Leah to work? <laughs> and help you out work. with the bills? Of course not. What do you mean, Leah? Would you like to get a job? Yes, and, uh, I would like help to get him? a job, a career. I would like to help out in the family. You know, the kids are starting to get, you know, older. This is hilarious. This is absolutely ludicrous. Why? Because, because you're the only one that can bring money in? Yeah, that's I right. I'm the man. So. I'm the man. I can probably make a lot more than you could. What are you talking about? Ooh. You don't have any skills. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Well, Leah, the reason Don is here he has something to tell you. When we come back from commercials, you're gonna tell her why you're here, and stay tuned, don't move, we'll be right back. Of course, we are back here at Paco Valdez Show. Yes, senor, the show that makes you laugh, scream, and sometimes call 911, but we won't do it this time. Triangle love. What does that mean? Have no idea. I'm confused. Please help me out. Don, why you are here tonight? Well, I'm here because I, I got something to tell you, Leah. Okay. You and I have been together for five years now, and uh, you know things have been good. But uh, I got a confession to make. I've uh, I've been seeing somebody else. Excuse me. You've been seeing somebody else? Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you what do you expect? You're so demanding all the time. Yeah, every time I come home, it's always, honey, I, I, can, can I go go to school? Can I go find a job? Well, can if I... you were in a house for 12, 13 hours a day, you would... Ah, and you don't too. enjoy it? Then you're my wife. You're my woman. You're supposed to be home. You're supposed to serve I don't serve think so. Me. You know what? You can take your damn wedding ring. <laughs> I have a confession too to make. I've been seeing somebody else also. Let's bring her out. Let's bring That's her out. That's not possible. Who? Let me bring her out. Who? Her? Let's bring her out. Yes, what, what's her? Her? her. Hey, hey, hey. 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 This is what I've been meaning to tell you. Excuse me, you two timing bitch. Well, okay, you get over it, honey. You know, what can I say? Well, 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 I hope he satisfies you. I mean, wait a second, wait a second. I'm, I'm confused here. Well, Mamma Mia, what's going on? Is, is that me or is somebody else here? Well, a, a trio. Who are you? How are you doing? Hi, I'm Martine. Let Martine, me, and this you was are. my best friend. Let me break it down. You, Leah's best friend. Was. And well, we were best friends. We were. Okay? Leah can't get enough of me. Don can't get oh, enough of me. God. What can I say? I'm irresistible. I mean, you know how they say. <laughs> oh, please. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. They can't get enough of me. I mean, look at me. <laughs> really? Wait, trash. That's some That's good stuff is. there. <laughs> how, how long you been seeing each other? For about six months now. And Six you, months? you and Leah. Yeah. You uh, can't do for me what Don can do for me. Obviously not. Mama Mia, this is. 
what's going on here? Well, it's so hard to understand. It's like uh, a, you are going with her, she's going with you, you're... Uh, but help you me out here, please. You know what, Paco? I'm here right now to tell Don he needs to get rid of this bitch and Ooh. get with the real one. Go live in the trailer with him. Uh, 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 your, your husband wants to talk to him. Excuse me. Oh, there's a reason that I brought Martine here today. And <laughs> okay. that is that, uh, Martine, listen. What is that over there? We've been seeing each other. Flowers. A couple oh, the months flowers now. I got and, from Kmart. Uh, You're going to uh, give to uh, her. And, oh, my God. And, uh, and uh, you know, I was wondering Loser. if maybe tomorrow you might be interested in going down to the courthouse with me where we can do a two-for-one deal and I can divorce this bitch and, and uh, we can get married. You know, there's two kinds of people in this world. You got the helpers and the help themselfers. And the ones we don't need are the helpers. Because <laughs> the helpers, they don't know anything. If they did, they'd be helping themselves. <laughs> and since they don't know anything, how can they help? <laughs> if it's true we've all been put on this earth to help others, what are the others here for? To help us help them? <laughs> no, the others, they're here to help themselves. If the Lord helps those who help themselves. And the know-nothing helper slowed the others down. So if no one ever helped anybody, this world would be a better place. <laughs> Helping isn't a virtue, it's a sin. <laughs> hey, Elaine, look, here comes Al Toon. Don't speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. He'll think I'm not speaking to him. It's too early in the morning for me to sit here and... We cut. Sorry. Hey, Elaine. Look, here comes Al Toon. Don't speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. He'll think I'm not speaking to him. It's too early in the morning for me to sit here and smile while he thanks you for all the help you're giving him. Naughty, naughty. I gave him some tips on some bookings. I want to see how I made out. It only take a few minutes. Relax. Hey, Al. Come over and join us. I'm not speaking to you. Well, certainly not very well. Jerry! What? He threw me a straight line. If I didn't insult him, he'd be insulted. It's a fellow ritual among comics. Oh, so it's like dogs exchanging butt sniffs. Sort of like that, yeah. Butt sniffs. Very good. You sh should be careful before you tell people something. That's easy for you to say. Jerry! What? We're on a roll. Hey, we should team up, Al. By the way, how the hustle ch house of chuckles like Eric? I flew to Boston, but the house of ch chuckles wasn't hiring. Really? Kramer told me they were. The bits of comedy was hiring. See, Kramer said they weren't. Well, did you go over there? B -b -b by the time I fill it back, they were all b -b booked. So you really are mad, aren't you? You're not speaking to me. You are a m m m m m m m m m m Hey, Elaine, look, here comes Al Toon. Don't speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. He'll think I'm not speaking to him. It's too early in the morning for me to sit here and smile while he thanks you for all the help you're giving him. Naughty, naughty. 
I gave him some tips on some bookings. I want to see how he made out. It only take a few minutes. Relax. Hey, Al, come join us. I'm not speaking to you. Well, certainly not very well. Jerry! What? He threw me a straight line. If I didn't insult him, he'd be insulted. It's a fellow ritual among comics. Oh, like dogs exchanging butt sniffs. Butt sniffs. Very good. You sh should be careful before you tell people something. That's easy for you to say. Jerry! Hey, we're on a roll. Hey, we should team up together, Al. Hey, by the way, how did the House of Chuckles like to act? I flew to Boston. B but the House of Ch Chuckles wasn't hiring. Really? Kramer told me they were. The P Pits of Comedy was hiring. See, Kramer said they weren't. So, did you go over there and see if they were hiring? B but by the time I flew back there, they were all booked. So you really are mad, aren't you? You're not speaking to me. You are m m m m m m m m m A what, Jer? A mongrel? A meddler? A monster? What, Jer? What? What? I don't know. He was so upset, he never got it out. Well, didn't his agent check it out before sending him to Boston? See, that's the thing. He can't get an agent until he gets work. And he can't get work, because audiences think he's stuttering. Well, I've seen his act. They heckle him. Speech. I mean, how could they not know the guy really stutters? Hey, no one does stuttering bits anymore. They went out years ago. Can you imagine someone on The Tonight Show doing a routine based on stuttering? It'll never happen. Not on network TV. It's not my style. I wouldn't even do it in a club. I feel bad enough making fun of Al. Please, Jer. It's easy for you to say now. And it's your fault, too. Why'd you have to give me those bump tips? Hey, you're in the business, Jerry. I thought you want to keep up with what's going on. No, no, no. I learned my lesson. I'm through helping. No advice, no tips, no nothing. Please, I swear. Please, Jerry, you wouldn't last a day. I swear. Hey, Mickey Daniels left Hotchkiss and uh, Teller. And he opened his own agency. He's desperate for clients. You ought to give him a call for out. That's a good idea. See if he's home. Yeah, call it. Let me talk to him. And I'll tell him. Let me talk to him, Jer. Jer. <laughs> Al, Kramer here. Yeah, I just heard what happened. Yeah, Jerry just told me. Yeah, I gave him the correct info, but he got it backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. He's a b -b 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 butts. <laughs> I'll tell him. Yeah, later. Jer? What? You're a b b b putz. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you tell him I got your info backwards? Hey, there's no need to be mad at both of us. If you didn't want to mad at you, why'd you mock him? Hey, I didn't mock. Putz? I said that to you, Jer. To nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. To me, you said putz. To him, you said putz. I agree. He is a putz. I said putz to him? You marked. I didn't mean it. Listen to those guys just throws me off. And you also forgot to tell about Mickey Daniels. The whole reason we called. <laughs> oh, uh, about Mickey Daniels, um, uh, I was <sighs> just kidding you. I was just teasing you about that. I just made it up. Teasing me, huh? Now I was gonna help, right after my vow. D there you go, I told you. You need to join a group like Helpers Anonymous or something. Recovered helpers, his only purpose is to help. I can give up helping without any help. You care to make a small wager on that, Jerry? Oh, yeah? What's the bet? Uh, I bet you cannot go 24 hours without butting in to help someone. What's the stake? Uh, let's see. This ought to be pretty good. Um, I got it. Made for a day. If you win, I'll clean your place. And if you win, I'll clean your place. In an apron. <laughs> With the mess you live in, I'm spotting you five to one. Five to one. Five to one? That's right. Well, I guess that's fair. Giddy up. That's a bet.
Oh, you're mine, baby. You're oh, mine. Oh, yeah. Maybe helping themselves. <laughs> and since they don't know anything, how can they help? <laughs> you know, if we're all put on this earth to help others, what are the others here for? To help us help them? <laughs> now the others, they're here to help themselves. The Lord helps those who help themselves. And the know-nothing helpers slow the others down. So if nobody ever helped anybody in this world, it'd be a much better place. <laughs> helping isn't a virtue, it's a sin. Hey, there's that too. Don't you speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. What? Hey, Elaine, there's that too. Don't you speak to him. Why not? I can't not speak to him. Hey, 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 guys. Wait, wait. He just said three, two, one. They were going, man. They were going. Come on. Henry. Go. go. Hey, Elaine. Hey, There's out too. Don't speak. <laughs> all right, be serious, all right? Be serious. Keep going. Don't stop. Oh. Elaine, there's out too. <laughs> What's that? Don't <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, 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 stop. My boss says stop and be quiet, okay? <laughs> women, stop. sir. Women. All right? <laughs> All right? Okay. Okay, go. Hey, hey guys. Okay. You ready? Yes. Oh. Is it working? There's not. <laughs> Don't speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me to sit here and smile while he th thanks you for all the help that you're giving him. Naughty, naughty. I gave some advice on some tips. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's the culprit right there. <laughs> I'm showing the culprit right now on Nationwide TV. It's this one right here. It's not just me, or <laughs> You know what? It was the same thing, the same thing he was doing to Don when he was doing his school. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> ah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Big sad thoughts. All right. Sad and smooth. All right, we're doing this once more. <laughs> we ain't doing this. We got a sad well, couple times. Let's do it then. I don't need my lines on the back. Keep that I know here. That. I know the ones, right? All right. It's her okay. faces. Okay. Her faces are making, all right? Make right? it face easy. Ready to open? Camera one. Three, two, one. Open. There's that too. Don't speak to him. Why not? He's a fellow comic. I can't not speak to him. He'll think I'm not speaking to him. It's too early in the morning for me to Hello. sit here and smile while he th th thanks you for all the help that you're can't giving be. him. Naughty, naughty. You know, I gave him some advice on some tip books on tipping. Tips on booking. I want to see how he made out. Hey, Al, come join us. I'm not speaking to you. Not very well. Jerry! Why, he threw me a straight line. If I didn't insult him, he'd be insulted. It's a fellow rich and one comics. Like dogs exchanging butt sniffs? Butt sniffs. Very good. You should, should be careful before you tell people something. That's easy for you to say. Jerry! We're on a roll. Hey, we should team up together. By the way, how the, how's the chuckles like your act? I flew to Boston, but about the house of Chuckles wasn't hiring. 
Oh, really? Kramer told me they were. The previous of comedy was hiring. See, Kramer said they weren't. Well, you go over there and check it out? We'll go at the time. I feel feeling the bad. They were removed. Oh, you really are mad at me. You're not speaking to me, are you? You're a I can do it again. You want to do it one more time? That sucks. You want to do it one more time? Yeah, we can do it one more time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Just, just to show Mr. D that we're not. Mr. D wasn't there. What? Mr. D wasn't there. Mr. D wasn't there. Yeah. Break. Break. Did you open, guys, in camera one? I can't not speak to him. I don't think I'm not speaking to him. It's too early in the morning for me to sit here and smile while he th th thanks you for all the help you're g g giving him. You're g you are bad. That was bad. Don't make fun of Al, right? Oh, let's cut that one. Let's start it over.